get started here. Uh, today, the, the format was a game-like situations. Uh, there was not uh, hardly any full contact, but uh, we tried to create as many scenarios and situations that will either occur in the first game or uh, sometime during the season. We had coaches on headsets. We had a full officiating crew here. You know, I thought for the most part we're pretty clean, but um, some of the things I was disappointed in, we had a couple of misalignments in the illegal shifts that we need to clean up. Um, on a positive note, I thought Josh uh, uh, really threw the ball well today. Um, you know, it was against the scout teams, but he was on point pretty much. And I think we've got a very capable Sorry. group of wide receivers. That's okay. Sorry. <laughs> um, defensively, the things that we were looking for is just having all the guys in the right spot. We didn't take anybody down. But all the right run fits and things like that, you know, we did exclusive uh, Northern Illinois stuff. And so uh, making sure everybody's in the right spot was important. Uh, I think the kicking game was a little bit of a mixed bag. You know, we had some good kickoffs. I don't know. I think we missed a field goal. Uh, so I was a little bit disappointed that was very much a makeable field goal. No one was injured, uh, so make note of that. Also like to release the captains uh, that we have. Um, over on offense, Chase Relier. If you need a pen? No, I got it. I found it. Okay, there you go. Uh, Chase Relier. Um, uh, geez, why in the world am I forgetting all this? I'm the one. I'm the guys. Josh Allen's another guy, and Jake Hollister over on defense. Lucas Waka and Marcus Epps are our captains. So I feel good about those guys. Kind of a sprinkling of some upperclassmen and some underclassmen. And we've had good leadership. Uh, you know, we've had good focus as a football team, and so we appreciate those guys. So. It's kind of an opening statement. I know it's a little bit of a mouthful, so uh, questions by you guys. Craig, you said you didn't take you know, no full contact or anything. You mentioned Josh throwing the ball while anything else stand out. Some takes. Uh, you know, uh, player-wise, I guess. Um, yeah, you know what? I thought uh, um, uh, Austin Conway did some good things out there again today in the return game, so we're pleased with him. I thought uh, Jake Hollister really did some nice things from a receiving standpoint. Tanner Gentry did as well. Ryan Cummings is improving his game. You know, I thought he was on point with a lot of stuff. Um, the other guys showed up a lot. I think Rico Gafford had two picks, and they would have been two pick sixes. So encouraged about that. Is it all, you know, like ones versus scout team, or was there ones versus ones at all? Or No, there was no ones versus ones. We've okay. had quite a bit of full live work. Um, it was all strictly scout, and it was mm -hmm. all game. Scout team was on the one side. Uh, our team was on the other. And as a coach, you always have a choice to go full contact and then play the game like it is. But there's so many situations that sometimes don't get created. We want to show our offense. What do they do when we're coming off the one yard line? What is uh, what's our defense do if you know it's fourth and one and we try to somebody tries to have you jump off sides, kicking plays, last play of the game. It was a full gamut of stuff. And sometimes you say, well. It didn't look like the furs really flying. No, it wasn't, but there's a lot of situations that we needed to cover. We still have a young team, and anytime you have a young team, you, you have a responsibility to put them in the right place to have some teachable moments. Overall, health-wise, are you happy with where mm -hmm. the team's at coming out of camp? Yeah, there's a lot fewer red shirts, and so, and that's part of, you know, what you do as a coach. You know, make sure by the time you get into that first game, you're going to have you know, pretty much your full lineups. I, I don't see anybody that's going to be uh, not available for a first game. You know, certainly we've got another week of practice, and we'll have a, we're going to have a full padded practice on Monday. Mm -hmm. um, but I, uh, I'm in hopes that we just are going to be very healthy. Mr. Craig, overall, is this, you've been through a lot of fall camps <laughs> before, and you mentioned this is still a young team, mm -hmm. but was this a good camp? Did you get mm -hmm. accomplish what you want to, you know, and how do you feel about this team, you know, going forward and now, in, now into game week mode, right. I guess? I like the team. We like the team. I like the team. Um, you know, we're still a work in progress, but there's progress that's made, Robert. Um, I think the attention to detail for fall camp has, has been good, even though they're young. Guys are uh, more focused, more bought in. I think we have more athleticism. Uh, certainly injuries are going to come into play with this football team as we move forward. Really pleased with the progression of our quarterback play, and I think that that's going to be a – a big element, you know, with the running backs, they look good, but so much of the running back evaluation is going to be can they break tons of tackles? And, you know, we've seen good things from Brian and Sean, and we're anticipating that it was great to see Andrew Wingert. He's been full speed. 
you know, we got that secondary intact. So, yeah, I'm pleased. Uh, are the guys with the concussions back as well, or, or will they be back before um, the game? Alex Stewart was out uh, still today, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, Jace Webb was back. So we're, we've had one mm -hmm. that's out. And you know, last year, I think we had 11 or 13 concussions. At this time, this year, we've had two. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, made some progress here. Craig, as far as your young guys are, and newcomers, mm -hmm. I mean, I know still got some time to evaluate them, but do you know at least of a handful or some guys that you probably will, will play, whether they, you know, backup roles or even on special teams? Do you have an idea yet? Yeah, or we do. Um, you know, I'll probably forget a couple guys, but, uh, you know, I, I don't think Rico Gafford, even though he's uh, not a freshman, but he'll, he, he'll be playing. That was mm -hmm. probably obvious. But Elijah Halliburton is a guy that will, will probably be playing in some situations. Uh, you know, we look at uh, John O'Quali is another guy as a receiver that uh, we think is going to see the field. And I, uh, I'm remiss on a couple. It's not as many as what we had the previous right. year, but there's still some more. That is is Cash one of them? Yeah, Cash Malibu is going to be one of those guys, too. Thanks for reminding me of that. Maybe Cooper, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>